Hey guys, welcome back to another episode oops, of Haven and Hearth Tutorials with yours truly in Zania. Uh, we're going to start this episode with the very basic stuff that you need to also learn. Uh, now, we, I know that we're in episode three and we've gone over a couple basic things, but there is a guide on the forums that everybody that wants to play this game needs to read. It is the Sevenless's Guide for Beginning Players. Metal section's done in it. That's just him saying that he finished the metal section. Uh, this guide is just the end all of end all for starting this game. This will walk you through probably your first few hours, if not longer, in the game. Uh, and then it goes on into detail. As you scroll down, it's got pictures showing stuff. I mean, it's really well done. I mean, probably one of the better guides that I've seen. This guy did a great job on this. And this has been out for a while. He's also done one on Salem, which is a spinoff by the same company. Um, but this is Haven and Hearth. And it goes all the way down through here. And then there's all the stuff on metal, etc. I mean, this guy, is just, it just covers everything you need to know, even at the very beginning, the basics, what skills to take to get, get started right. And if you'll watch here, we'll come down through a little bit of it. There we go, the first steps. Uh, he tells you about what I did, the LPs, chipping, branching, getting a branch, chip a stone, take some bark, some boughs, soil, dig on the ground, dig some clay if you can find some clay, uh, etc. Then you want to learn foraging and hunting. Ant Hill Rating, how to do it. This is where I learned how to do it, right here, folks. Um, uh, then the next couple, couple things to do, get lumberjacking, lets you cut trees down, make stone axes and branch and all that other good stuff. Uh, how to make a stone axe, you make it from a branch and a stone, do carpentry, exploration, fishing, uh, then learn exploration from 5 to 10. Now that might sound silly, and at this point you might be thinking, oh, well, no, I, I'd much rather take them, them 4,000 LPs and spend them to learn how to do metalworking or, or something else because you think it's really cool. Follow this guide. He's got these in here for a reason. Learning exploration from 5 to 10 starts making things appear in the world. That's how your exploration skill works. I'll go over the skills in this episode and I'm going to go over food also. So let's get back into this and here we go. All right, so your skills that we were just looking at learning and boosting up these. Now we went over studying and how to learn these and how to get LPs by putting things in here. Um, but these, what do these do? Well, as you'll notice, I've got 15 unarmed combat, 40 marksmen, 30 exploration, 12 cooking, 26 farming, and then survival. Uh, now they're green because I'm wearing equipment that boosts them. Like right now I'm wearing a farmer's hat that gives me plus six, so it's 20 plus six. Uh, I'm wearing some of them stinging nettle clothes, the, the jackets and the pants, so I've got bonus seven to my survival. That's why they're green. I've got uh, something on that's giving me plus two unarmed combat. Uh, but that's what the green means. Green means that it's boosted by something else. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something or I'm wearing something that's giving me one intelligence, a bonus intelligence. But what do these skills do? Why do we want to go up? Well, the important ones for starting are exploration and perception. Exploration and perception control what you see in the game world. You see this right here? That's telling me that there's a wild wind sown seed right there. Now, this is part of vendors, but if I zoom out enough and scroll over, there it is. You can actually see it right there. I could right-click it and go pick it. Well, wild wind sown seeds are very neat very much needed for farming. These, you dry these out in a uh, drying rack, and uh, which we'll show probably in the next episode when we can kill a rabbit. Uh, but you, you, you dry them in a drying rack, and uh, they will then, over a period of like six hours or four hours, I think it's actually longer than that, might be like eight or ten hours in a drying rack. It's really slow in a drying rack. Um, you can also put them on a herbalist table much later in the game as you learn farming and you get the uh, stuff required to make a herbalist table. You can then, you know, you can do that. But starting out, you'll have to put the wild wind sown seeds in a drying rack. And then I will show you here. Let me hearth home. I'll show you a drying rack real quick. Pay no attention to all of this. This is, like I said, after hours and hours and hours and hours of playing. So this is a drying rack over here. Yeah, I've got cows. Woohoo! But this is a drying rack. And you'll build these, and they're, they're very cheap to build. You'll just go to build, and right here, drying rack. It costs seven branches, drying frame. 
anybody can build them. Once you learn the very basics of uh, leather working, you get drying frame. Um, these are the tanning tubs. These are used to uh, these are used to turn the dried leather or dried hide, which I've got a dried bear hide right there. That bear hide, it's it's dried. I could then take that hide. You don't do this with bear hides, but with other hides like these. This is a boar hide. Um, I could take that once it's this little red bar, it tells you the percentage. When it gets all the way to the top, it'll turn green about three quarters of the way through. And then when it gets all the way to the top, 100%, which is six hours, real hours, that'll be dry. I can then take that, I can put that into a tanning tub. I put it in here, and then it'll take another six hours for it to turn from a dried hide into leather. Um, when you get rabbits, your rabbits will just be one little slot. That's all they'll take, and you can only put one skin in a tub at a time. But in order to be able to make these tanning tubs, you have to not only learn leather working, as the wiki says, but you also need animal husbandry. And the wiki does not say that, and that's why I'm making a point to point that out now. Uh, you'll, get, you'll go get, follow the wiki or something, the guide or whatever, and you'll learn uh, leather working through your skills, and you can't build tanning tubs, and you can't figure out why. That's why. You have to learn animal husbandry also in order to build the tanning tubs. All right, beyond that, the skill points. As I was saying, your exploration times your perception skill determines what's available in the world for you to see. Like these little yellow thingies right here. And if I scroll around, there will be other little things that you can pick up and, and things like that. That's all determined upon your exploration and your perception skill. And that's why he says take your exploration up to five. Because at five, you start finding different fruits and different vegetables and stuff like that. Different things that you can pick up on the ground. In order to find the wild wind-sowed seeds that you need for farming to even start farming, put them on a drying rack, let them dry out, they'll turn into a seed. In fact, I've got a herbalist table over here. I might have put some on there. No, all I've got is tobacco leaves on it. But uh, here's what a wild wind sown looks like when you get it in your inventory. It's right there. Wild wind sown weed. So you'll take that, and then you'll put that on a drying rack, and then you'll let it dry for however long it takes. It might take, I don't remember how long it takes, to be honest with you. Uh, but you'll do that. When it dries, you'll then go take it off. And when you take it off, you'll have some seeds. You can then till the ground with a till, which by the time when you learn farming, you'll be able to build that. It'll be under build. And then, uh, land, no, it's not. Not lands. Oh, I went into the other thing. You go into build, and then tools. Where's tools? Tools. And there it is. You'll build a wooden plow. And uh, you can then right-click on that plow, and then left-click where you want to go with it. It'll push it, and it'll it'll till the soil. And then you go plant seeds in that soil, and then you let them go. They'll finish all by themselves. There's no watering, weeding, anything like that. You just plant them and let them go. We will cover farming in another another advanced tutorial later. But that's pretty much, you know, that's the, the main stats that you need to worry about at the beginning is do what his guide said. Go up, go up in exploration when he tells you to. Earn those points so that you can take exploration up and, uh, you know, and, and eat, you know, foods, which we'll cover in the very next episode, to, 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 to level these. All of these points right here, these skills have all gone up because of food that I've ate. That's it. As you notice, I've boosted my perception. A lot of people say it's bad to do that. You want to keep most of your stats at about the same. And the reason for that is because of the way that the stat increases work. And I'll explain that in the next episode also. I know I keep saying next episode, next episode. What are you doing in this episode, Zane? Well, I've done what I wanted to do in this episode. I've told you about the basic skills. I've shown you Seven Lists' Guide. Uh, and that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this episode. So this is just a little meh, you know episode explaining a few things. That's it. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I'll see you in the next one where we're going to talk about uh, something that I just said we were going to talk about. <laughs> uh, where we'll talk about foods and how they affect your stats. Alright. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.